We're here. The man who loved his cat behind the paws, or in Cinderella's case, behind the claws. We're here with David Gary, the cat's pajamas himself. Meow. How does it feel right now? This feels exhilarating. It feels like it's been a journey. Two Bravo, take four. Mark. Casting the cast. Figuring out who the crew members are. All right, and then you lean back for me one more time. Securing the locations. Mom, it's me! Getting the props. I never skimp on a set gag. Finding the cat. Say hello, Cinderella. All of that fun stuff, and we're finally here, and this is the last day. All right, what's the great news? Mom? Hmm? Dad, I'm getting married. <gasps> Wendy. What, uh, what brought you to this project? Well, David Gary is one of my best friends in the world. He wanted to do a midlife crisis project, <laughs> and he asked me to direct, and uh -huh. I, I've always wanted to, to work with him. And, and support his midlife I crisis. I did. I want to make sure he feels it fully. Before I was asleep, I'm, I'm a little yeah. emotionally yeah. drained right now. Yeah. It is. <laughs> but somehow I'm She's emotional all at the same now. time. Close. Do you think he'll succeed with getting through this? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. He's gonna crash and burn. Yes, yes. I he, wish him all You can best. see it a little bit now. David, how does it feel? It feels cat... Titanic. Oh. A new word. Wow. Well, <laughs> in yeah. the dictionary. It'll play on words. He's coming part of the scenes, mm -hmm. and by the end of production, um, we're gonna probably have to give him some sedatives. Now it's time to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not say shut up. Yeah, shut let's not say shut up. <laughs> oh, that's better. So, what's it been like on the set? You know what? It's been fast and furious. Hey. There's the magic. That's what we've been waiting for. There's our magic man. I think the hardest was uh, the, the outside park. How'd it, how'd it go in the park this morning? It was good. It was the um, a morning of a thousand sounds. Right after the plane lands. Well, we had a weed whacker issue. Weed whacker issue. Yes, and we had a, uh, uh, what's that unnecessary device? A leaf blower. Okay. Hey everyone, we have five minutes to knock out all the shots with no interruption, at least from that, which is relentless. We had the wood chipper about three blocks away, and it didn't end, and we didn't know what it was. We thought maybe it was a, a chainsaw gang. I booked it. I ran yeah. I ran three or four blocks there. I, I talked to the foreman. I negotiated five minutes of silence, and and uh, I ran back, and then the the... Weed Whacker started. We have two minutes of silence over there, too. Okay, all right. Let's, Let's do it. Go. Good work. <laughs> Thank you. No one was going to ruin my shoot after <laughs> all of that work. Do you know how embarrassing that was? In front of my parents. Fight? You want to fight? Come on, take you out. Take you out. Shoot. Do you need a touch up? Is that no, 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 relevant no, no, no. to your life? <laughs> um, well, let's curious, stop. Let's make sure Davis, David gets yeah. his touch up. <laughs> That's not. Are the you same. ready for your close up? <laughs> no, no. So, with having, you know, big egos on the set seems to be a problem with Davey and Wendy both. I've had no problem with Davey. It's mm. really Cinderella I've had a lot mm. of trouble with. I'm trying to climb up like in the jacket. <laughs> this being your pet project, uh, how has it been uh, working with, with her? Has it it's been joyful, I think, uh, for, for one of us. Oh, look at this baby. Look at you, you're such a star. You're such a little star. She feeds off the attention. She totally does. <laughs> I tried to call her Cindy, but she didn't like it. She ran away. No, she doesn't like Cindy. No. Mm. Diva. I don't, mm. don't, okay. let, don't yeah. let her see that. But, you know. She'll never know. Okay. Now, we all know you're a star, but, you know, we're all a team. we got to work together. You haven't yet uh, met... Cinderella yet? The cat? No, I'm a. I wanted to give Cinderella her space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you yes. know, I, and I felt that that was probably the best best way to go. Yes. You know, especially respecting her uh, her as a fellow actor. I haven't uh, Not yet met Cinderella. They kind of keep Cinderella in her cage, and then with David. Look at those eyes. Yeah. This is beautiful. I didn't get a chance to talk to her afterwards. Once you're done shooting, they rush her off, and then it's all very hush hush, and you're not allowed to look at her in the eyes, and you know. Yes. I have to talk to her handlers. Now, did you anticipate that coming in? Well, she comes from lineage. She comes from a, 
uh, Mr. Bigglesworth from um, the Austin Powers yes, series. Yes, yes. This is Mr. Bigglesworth's granddaughter. Hey! That's a good kitty. Yeah, let's do it. You little prima donna, you. Girl. Yeah. So, your grandfather, famous, famous cat. Is it tough to live up to those expectations? Oh, uh, oh. Oh, did I upset her? This interview is done. What? Already? Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, no, well, sorry, I'm sorry. She has to go back to her trailer. Yes. Thank you for spending the time, Cinderella. The man who loved his cat, changing lives, one paw at a time. Cinderella out. Cinderella out. <laughs> What's that for a nice good. Like, more than you know. More, more than the more you know. know. <laughs> It was an enormous to, amount to, to shoot and accomplish in three days. And we did it, thank goodness. And we did it by the hair of our chinny chin chin. And I just made a gesture that means <laughs> <laughs> something to, else in another language. To, yeah, to the deaf, ignore that language. If heaven exists, uh -huh. what would you like God to tell you when you're at the pearly gates? <laughs> thank you. Thank you for making the man who loved his cat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here's our guy. I've got no more. I have nothing else to ask. <laughs>